Alright guys, um, so I just unboxed my Fingerdex D3 Exotic. I got it earlier today, um, and I've been using it for a while now. So I've had time to see how good it is, and it's really nice, it's really shiny. Um, yep. There's only one thing I found wrong with it. Um, that is on the tail. It's a little bumpy with the lacquer. But it doesn't really do anything. It's just there. Um, do on some Tech Deck independent trucks. The new wheels. And, uh, it's really good. The pop is really good. <clears throat> pop. Um, I put on this tape. It's like for, for a bubble wheeler thing. Uh, I got it from the kid I bought bought the D3 from. Um, it's it's a duck, and you peel the back off and you put it on. And it's not like it's shiny as you can see, and it doesn't really like when you push down really hard, it sticks a little bit, but not too much. So you still get a good flick and everything. Um, there's not much to say more about it because it's a great deck um the plies it doesn't really have any colored plies I think there's a red one right there in the middle I'm not sure though but looks real nice as an exotic bottom so yeah um that's about it you can get them from finger decks or if you get them from a trade or something but yeah they're just really good decks nice and shiny um i don't know if if it'll be bumpy like that in the new ones because this is actually pretty pretty old one i guess um because they don't make the exotic just a plain i think plain exotic ones no more i think uh... they just have graphics and stuff so yeah that's about it. Just a quick review about it. So yeah, it's a great deck. Um, and uh, you can get them from finger decks. And like a tray, like I said. And, um, that's about it. Finger decks D3. Thanks for watching.